All right, good morning, guys. Um, here with the IST Athlete Daily Workout. We'll get started. I'm gonna pull up the whiteboard view, and we'll get into it. So for, to, for today, we're gonna go two rounds, 30 seconds of a bunch of different movements. Um, first movement here, we'll go air squats, followed by inchworms, that's no push-up. We're just focusing on warming up our backsides, uh, hamstrings primarily. Third movement, we'll go into a down dog hold. Um, Again, we should feel hamstrings low back here, but really try to actively reach into that good overhead position. We'll focus on getting the heart rate up, 30 seconds of jumping jacks, 30 seconds of seal jacks. And then lastly, a reverse lunge plus an overhead reach. On this, I want the arms to come down every rep so that we're getting movement at the shoulder blade each time we do a reverse lunge. So I will run through an abbreviated round of warm up here, give you guys uh, some movement demos and kind of the quality we're looking for on that. So we will set the clock to 12 different intervals of, we'll go 30 seconds. And no rest today, because we're just gonna flow right through. We're going in 10 there, we'll, we're gonna start with our air squat. So on the air squat, just focus on good squat mechanics. Nice and easy there. Squat the depth, stand it all the way up. Second movement, inchworm. Like I said, we really want to focus on hamstrings, low back, keeping our legs nice and long on the way out and on the way in. So from here, let's see if I can stay in the camera. I would walk my hands out. No push up, so I just walk my hands back in. As such, stand. Good to go there. Third movement, we're gonna do a down dog hold, so I would walk my hands out again to the top of the push up. From here, I'm gonna push my head through and my hips up. And I'm just gonna hold this position for 30 seconds. Really focus on pressing our head through there to get some good movement at the shoulders. Jumping jacks followed by seal jacks. Seal jacks are just in and out. Mixing up uh, our upper body a little bit there and then reverse lunge plus an overhead reach. Like I said, on the reverse lunge plus the overhead reach, arms will come down. So we're getting movement at the shoulder blade each time. From here, reverse lunge. as such, okay? Um, just trying to add a little bit of movement there at the shoulder like I was saying, so hands do come down on every lunge. Um, pretty straightforward there, after your reverse lunge plus overhead reach, you go back to the top to start round two for the air squat. So, that would conduct our warm up. Uh, 12 intervals of 30 seconds apiece. Goals to just stay moving the whole time. For core today, we are gonna continue to build off our lunge hold during go four minutes, alternating every 60 seconds. So a little bit longer duration. We're gonna go one minute on one side, one minute on the other, one minute back to where we started and then finish lastly with one minute um, on the second leg there into a four minute AMRAP, 20 sit-ups, 15 glute bridges and 10 side plank with that elbow rotation. I'll demonstrate all three of the movements here um, and talk a little bit about positioning that we want on the lunge. Um, really simple way to do this. Just set the clock for eight minutes. That's what I'm going to do. Keep yourself on track there. So I would set a clock running up eight minutes. We're going to talk lunge hold first. So it's all about positioning here. Vertical front shin, the back knee is going to be hovering just above the ground. And I want my torso nice and upright. So I should feel um, a little bit of core as well as I'm staying in that stack position. So from here, vertical front shin, back knee hovering above the ground. Shoulders are back. And I'm simply just holding. Okay. One minute on one side. One minute on the other. Again, notice my nice stack position here. Not leaning forward. I'm not way overextended like this. 
as such. That'll take us through the four minutes of our lunge hold. You're gonna alternate every 60 seconds. Into our four minute AMRAP, we'll do 20 sit-ups. That's gonna be our butterfly sit-up, um, so we can move through it a little bit quicker. I'll demonstrate what that looks like. 15 glute bridges, so you'll stay on your back. Momentary squeeze of the glutes at the top. Relax, squeeze the glutes for 15 reps. And then 10, that's 10 each side, side plank plus elbow rotation. Maintaining our good side plank position, but getting a little bit of obviously rotational work. So I'll demonstrate that here. First, the butterfly sit up. Feet together, hands start touching our feet, hands come over the head. Hip crease closes, so I touch my feet again. I would work my way through 20 reps of that. A few reps would look as such. That's that. Onto our back, we go 15 glute bridge. Heels are firmly planted in the floor. I'm gonna squeeze my hips. Momentary pause at the top. Back down, squeeze. For 15 reps there. Lastly, we'll do side plank plus elbow rotation. So I'm good here. Let's get in our like chicken wing, I guess is what you could call it. Elbow comes down and rotates back up. As such, you do 10 on one side, 10 on the other. The glute bridge and the side plank can be done at a relatively slow tempo. Um, I'm not expecting anybody to get like, you know, three, four rounds in this four minute AMRAP. Two is sufficient. Uh, we're focusing on quality of movement there. For strength today, we will talk about that. So strength will be three sets every four minutes. So again, this is going to keep us accountable, keep us moving through this at a good, uh, good pace here. Our first movement is the Cossack squat plus good morning. You'll do 10 each leg on the Cossack squat. So it's 20 total Cossack squat and then one good morning um, with that. So it'll be 10 total. We're going to do the dynamic rear foot elevated split squat. Um, so we're working a little bit of single leg power. We did five reps last week. We'll do six this week. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate off a bench, but this can be easily done off, you know, any sort of elevated surface, as long as we're holding, um, I guess, proper positioning there and um, it's stable enough, okay, for us to do a little bit of power work. And then staggered stance RDL. I encourage us to load our backpack nice and heavy, um, get some single leg work on that as well. Just a different way to work our hinging position there. So uh, I'm going to utilize, we have, you know, plates and dumbbells in the gym right now. I'm going to utilize a plate on the Cossack squat in the good morning. And I'll also show the staggered stance RDL with that. But again, you can utilize anything you'd like, bag of dog food, rice, your backpack, stuff like that. Load it as heavy as you'd like. Um, these are compound movements, so you can load it pretty, pretty heavy um, and be just fine there. So I'll get our strength set up and then I'll get the clock set up as well. Like I said, we're gonna go every four minutes. So say I do all three of my movements and it takes me three minutes. I have that last minute to rest and then I go into my second set. It's not just a continuous flow through it. If we are gonna be loading heavy, rest is important. Um, so take advantage of it if we're gonna give it to you. So I'm gonna get my bench set up here that I'll utilize for my dynamic split squat in a second. Now, if we're doing that Cossack squat, I would first uh, have that front loaded, so holding it at the chest. We're gonna start a nice wide stance from here, heel the butt. 
sorry, butt to heel. And then I'm gonna do a sumo good morning, so hips hinge over as such. From the side, it'll look like this. And a good hinge, squeeze my hips at the top. Okay, that's what I'm looking for on the Cossack squat, Mr. Good Morning. Again, you can load that relatively heavy. Our second movement, we're gonna go our dynamic split squat. Um, this again, I think should be unweighted this week as we just focus on some power development. Try to jump high, try to move fast out of that bottom position. So in our normal split squat, we want vertical front chin um, and vertical torso. Same thing applies here. I go down and explode up. I go down and explode. I would do six on one leg, six on the other. Our last movement, we'll do a staggered stance RDL. Again, probably done easiest if we're holding that in the front rack position. Split stance, it would look like this from the front. This is our traditional, so feet in line. From here, slight knee bend, just like a normal RDL. Maintain a strong back as I hinge over. You should feel front leg hamstring. And I squeeze my hip at the top. 12 reps on one side, 12 reps on the other. Good on that. Now, say, uh, say I had the clock running there and like I said, it took me three minutes. I would rest the remaining minute before my second interval. We are doing three sets, so 12 total minutes of work. Um, a good amount of volume, and like I said, if you load it nice and heavy, this would be a good, um, a good lower body session here. Lastly, we have a uh, mid, kind of mid distance um, time piece here, conditioning. We're gonna go 12 minute AMRAP, one minute in our pillar position. So that's our good top of the push up. From there, we're gonna go 20 pillar shoulder taps. So we're really gonna pre fatigue that top of the push up shoulder position and then challenge ourselves. Now, quality over quantity here. I don't wanna have a swaying all over the place in that pillar shoulder tap just to get through them. If you have to break your set of 20, that's fine. Into 15 tough jumps, so a little bit of lower body power, some heart rate work there, and then 10 hand release burpees. So again, we're gonna kinda isolate the shoulders there with the hand release portion of the burpee as we go back into the pillar. I'll demonstrate one abbreviated round here, what that'll look like, so you can see all the movements. Um, again, AMRAP means 12 minute running clock, so you'll just work for 12 minutes and see how many rounds you can get through. So first thing, we're gonna start in that top of the push-up pillar position. In the pillar, I'm actively pressing through the floor and I'm maintaining a good uh, belly positioning so I'm nice and tight with my midline. From here, this is a good example of a good pillar. Notice my upper back is slightly rounded as I'm pushing through the floor, squeezing my glutes into 20 pillar shoulder taps. Minimizing that rotation at the hips. What I don't want to see is this, because my shoulders are tired. After that, 15 tuck jumps. So squat two parallel, we're just slightly below. We don't want to bottom that out. I would want a quick change of direction and jump in nice and high. So I'd be here. Please come into chest, 15 reps. For our more advanced athletes, we can do a rebounding dynamic. Uh, Tuck jump there, if we have to reset and do every tuck jump as kind of a single, that's okay as well. But the rebounding would look as such. 15 reps there. Into 10 hand release burpees. So a little bit of a jump. Hands physically leave the floor. And hands come overhead. 10 reps of that, back into your pillar for 12 minutes. Um, pretty straightforward piece. I think, so with the one minute pillar, I'm trying to do a little bit of mental math here. 
a lot of shoulder. I think three plus rounds, maybe four rounds is uh, doable for some of our, especially more, um, more resilient upper body pressers. Um, if you have some good upper body endurance, I think you'll be able to work through this. However, um, again, we're looking at quality repetitions here, especially on that pillar shoulder tap and the tuck jump. So break it up as needed, focus on quality. That's always the goal. Um, yeah, that's the workout for today. Tomorrow I will do a video of our running progression. The running progression is gonna continue here um, all the way through summer um, as it is nice out. And I know a lot of us have, are interested in getting better at running um, as it has a lot of carry over to a bunch of different sports. Um, and we're gonna start in, in incorporating some sprinting intervals as well um, as we get closer to some of us getting back into season um, and getting a little bit more focused on power production. So, but that's it for today, really nice job. Hope you guys enjoy the workout. Um, see you guys next week.